John, you're always after bargains, too. Do you see bargains yet? Not a lot, but there are always many good bargains. For example, the drug stocks now are thoroughly depressed. The great growth companies will double their earnings in the next five years. They're selling for only 12, 13, 14 times earnings, paying higher dividends than the average market, like Merck or, or Bristol-Myers Squibb or Johnson & Johnson. Why do you think those stocks are so depressed? Fear that the Clinton health plan will permanently damage their interests? That is certainly a major factor, but those companies are worldwide. They're not dependent on one nation. Where are you looking, Peter? Actually, Johnson Johnson, I think, is, another, is a great stock. I agree with John. I mean, he's a company that spends a billion two in R&D, and they're now cutting costs, and their stock was 58 two years ago, and it's now 37, and they could raise a dividend in a month and buy in a lot of their stocks. So I think Warner Lambert's attractive, a lot of financial stocks attractive, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Travelers. So there's lots of attractive stocks around. 